Now, when you go to install the SharePoint binaries, that's of course going to be done by utilizing setup.exe. When you run setup.exe, it's going to ask you what type of installation you want to perform. Do you want a complete installation or do you want a single server? With a complete installation, what's going to happen is it's going to install everything that SharePoint might need and get it ready to work in a farm. That's the option that you want. On the flip side, however, single server is going to install an internal version of SQL Server for SharePoint to use. Now, keep in mind that that internal version is going to have the same limitations as SQL Express. In particular, it's going to be limited to 10 total gigs of data, so it's not going to get you very far. On top of that, if you decide later on, hey, we kind of dig this SharePoint thing, we want to um, break this out into a farm, unfortunately, your only option there is to reinstall SharePoint. So single server is great for temporary testing servers. I just need a server up and running right now. As far as production goes, eh, not so much. Let's take a look at doing our installation. Let's kick back over to our bits and let's double click on setup.exe. It's going to ask us for our product key. It's then going to ask me to read through and agree to the license terms. Hit continue. And then as promised, it's going to ask me the type of installation that I want to perform. You'll notice that the default is complete and that is the option that I basically always want. You're also going to notice that it will ask me about my file location. You can, if you want, move the binaries for SharePoint to a different directory. It's not really going to improve performance at all, so you may as well leave it where it is. You are going to notice, however, that it does ask about index files. If you are going to be utilizing SharePoint Foundation Search, and this is going to be running queries, you're going to want to make sure that that's moved off to a different location. Fortunately, if you simply forget to do this during the installation, you can change that later. Let's go back to server type. We'll hit install now. And then with blinding speed, amazing accuracy, and the magic that is video editing, you'll notice that we are now done.